and here we are. Welcome back to game 5 of Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. I'm jumping to sector 2 and I will make it a nebula because I'm playing on a slug ship that uh, should feel very homey to us. I'm thinking that is the slug home nebula. Also, I don't really need to go there, but I will go here any... Wait a minute, will I? The upper route looks so much better with all the green. Yeah, you know what? I'll get much better start if I go up and not get a first nebula and then a one red sector. Even that nebula would give me closer, would get me closer to the achievement, but I only see two nebulas here, so that might not even happen if, if I do so. So I will go to Children Control Center. Should be good for uh, equipping the ship. And we start in the nebula anyway. The Children patrol their borders but let you pass when you IDS Federation. Let's hope they won't be so cautious to the rebels. Indeed. Let's see what we see first. Well, we see plenty of nebula. And the quest is all the way in there. I don't see any stores, so I will upgrade my ship, but how will I upgrade it? I think I will get power for now and save the 22. Then I'll go to the engines. I still have uh, power for the weapons, two shields and uh, most of the engines. Wait a minute, is my door system? Oh, my door system was uh, broken. There we go, good job Jones. Let's... Let's visit these nebula sectors, but I will, I will go here first. This will let me see all the surrounding ones. This nebula turns out to be hiding place of a terrified rock crew, taking refuge from the Jolten Border Police. They don't seem to seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. Well, damn it. And they have a missile and two... Two lasers, two single-shot lasers. Alright, I think I will need to start with Breach again. Hopefully I'll... Uh, I'll find uh, find missiles as we uh, as we continue. They have a med bay, so I might even have to abandon trying to take them out. Yeah, very likely. So breach for the shield, followed with dual lasers when it explodes, and then we see what happens. Couldn't take them out. And they bound us with their uh, stuff. Mm. Maybe I will breach again. Good. Oh, and it actually actually breaches as well, which is good. I temporarily see what's going on there. Now take out the shields. Good. They are unrepairable pretty much. Mm. Come on, lasers, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, was just about to, uh, was thinking about breaching, but since their missile launched now, I don't need to breach anymore because the dual lasers will do the thing. But the missile is still up. Damn. Hmm. I will, uh, I will save myself from further damage do that and um, yeah I will uh, I will just just shoot them down I might have been able to take take out their oxygen if I'd if I'd keep shooting that because this place is very very much breached. But 
that's fine. Unfortunately, no missiles, though. No missiles. Alright, let's uh, first take a look if there's a store. There is. Alright, tempted. I will visit this nebulous, nebula place, then maybe the store. I'm uh, 15, 15 hull integrity at the moment. Inside this nebula you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface a huge monolith, visible at this distance even to the naked eye. A Jolten Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent you have discovered the great eye. Look into its depths and receive your just dessert. Okay, well, we'll do that. As you approach, a kaleidoscope of colors fills the view screen and one of your crew begins to age rapidly in reverse, eventually disappearing into nothingness. Oh no. Ah, oh, lost the crew member. No, my pilot. Oh man. Well, I guess I've been fortunate enough with those uh, in the past and not losing not losing too many crew members to random events. Damn it! Luckily I have... Uh, luckily I have two at least. Alright. That was unfortunate and I pretty much need to just fix my ship here. Wow. Long-range scanners really help navigating the navigating the maps. But is it worth it to sell my defense drone for it? Dante and iron bomb is well. I can't afford that anyway. Never mind. Mm. Yeah, I think I will do it. Buy the long range scanners. That will uh, help me help me see stuff and uh, avoid these uh, nasty places with uh, iron storms and such. So there are fights ahead in those ones, and uh, well, that is fine. Mantis. Mantis without, Mantis without the teleporter. That's good. I like that kind of a... That kind of a ship. Now wait a moment. You have... You have a beam and you have one big laser. So I'm good. I will... Uh, I will kill your Mantis ass. Waiting for the anti-bio beam to be almost up, and there we go. Shields, dun dun. And let's fry some mantis. Good, good, good. Wait, auto fire off. Wait for the anti-bio beam. They got it. They got it repaired. Soon up. Fire. There we go. Beam. Nice. One of them dead. And another one down. Excellent. Two fuel, one missile. Pretty scrap. Good job, Roper and Jones. Right, we have the store there, but I already visited it. There are no other stores here. So I will upgrade my engine. I'll upgrade my engine and uh, I will put some power in it next. Let's go and fight this other ship. No damage from that one, that was 
perfecta mundo. Emergency, all ships in range, we are under attack. The frequency matches a nearby Chalton ship. You move in on their, you move in on their pursuer. They take your in intervention as a cue to jump away, cowards. Bike beam. I think that no, that that won't go through my shield. I think. They have three crew members, though. That uh, would be interesting. But I don't think I need to take out their weapon systems. Let's see if I'm right. That's one hit. No, wait. Now. And how long can I get this? Not long enough to hit you all. Let's hit you guys. Nice. One of them. One of them died right away. Perfect. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not taking damage from their weapons. Good, good, good. Oh, there might be fellow slugs there. Now that I look at it, waiting for the anti-bio beam to come up, and there we fire. Shields are down. Let's. Beam them there. Pilot down. This guy is nearly dead, probably. He's not firing up the engines. Okay, waiting for the anti bio beam to finish the guy up. Let's still fire the shields, though. And let's just beam you like that. Ooh, it just moved, but uh, just in time. Good. Four fuel, 31 scrap. That's, that's decent. Let's get one power. That's it for now. Then I'll go to the engines. Any one of us hurt? No. Let's go. A ship there as well. From there I can jump there. So uh, let's go have yet another fight. Another unmined ship patrols this area. You prepare the ship for combat. They don't have... Well, they, uh, they don't have much. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do and need to do. I'm not going to waste a... Waste a str uh, waste anything else because... Uh, well, they could have, in theory, got one, one hit on us there, but uh, quite unlikely. Bit of iron and a dual laser. And one more. Alright, decent, decent loot for... Uh, Decent loot for an unmanned one. Um, Iron Storm. Hmm. Do I really want to go there? They are quite nasty. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take it. You spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You are able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying the fuel supplies, the other ammunition. Well, we will go to ammunition. I have 21 fuel and now I might need more missiles for the breach. Bombs, so yeah, ammunition. Oh hell. Oh hell. Wow. Energy shield, iron, um, some sort of bomb, missile, drone. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, uh, 
I won't even shoot at them. I'll put all the power in the shield. I hope I get my FTL drive up before I run out of oxygen or I'm blown up. This is bad. Luckily it's just a small, small missile, but... Ah, uh, wait a minute, you should be at the engine room anyway. Oh man. Please tell me that's not a breach bomb. Alright, I might as well... no. Might as well get it now. Engine is up. Shields are partly damaged, all right. Oh, wow. Um, I hope I get out of this. This might be over here. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a bit of there's a bit of luck here as well that do they hit pilot pilot or the engine? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Jump, G. Ooh, all right, up there. Oh wow, I sh I should have never ever entered that place. Why did I go there? Ah. Uh, Wow, okay, my ship is on fire. No, wait a minute. Uh, there was a rebel. We are liberating this. These aliens will not be left eager as Wow. Interfere. Make first contact with the primitive aliens. Protect the aliens' way of life. Attack the rebel ship. Ah, all right. Well, I will take the second option. Probably a bad idea. Let's see. I'm getting into a getting into a place here where uh, I don't have a door system and the ship is on fire. <laughs> what the hell am I doing in here? Uh, no, I need to twenty evade. Oh wow. Oh wow, and I don't even have shields up and that drone is there. Then anyway, you need to go there, there's no use in, no use in evading. Oxygen is out. Alright, I got their uh, I got their missile out at least for now. I need to get my Alright, good, that's repaired. Uh, go repair the shields, that's more important now, so we don't die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, that drone will kill us. Unless you get the shields up. Oh, wow. Oh, hell no. Hopefully there's not other fire in the place, but this is not going good. Yeah, I know oxygen is low. Wait a minute, that's priority repair. Um. 
<laughs> it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. They have their, uh, they have their missile back online. I have two. Uh, I have two shields now. Which doesn't really matter. Why did I? Why did I even stay there repairing them both? So we go bridge missile on. Let's go there. Um. <laughs> Come on! Give me a break. All right, good timing. All right, dual lasers next. Oh man, nine left. Not good, not good. Let's repair its engine first. Quite, quite tough fights, I'd say for a, for a second, second sector. This, uh, this is no joke. I'll take the anti-bio beam out, just to see if I can do anything with it. Wait. Can I kill their crew? No, just just go for it. If you can. Jeez. Okay. Let's keep the breach on. They're going to med bay though, interestingly. Well, of course they go, because they have everything repaired. Now, let's breathe the shield this time. Oh, hell. I'm going to, going to take damage again. No, must take out the missile. And it missed. No way. Oh, wow. Oh, to fire at that. No. No. This would have not been that bad if I'd been a uh, If I'd been in full condition when this started. They're all very hurt. That one guy is trying to go... Trying to go to the med bay but can't go because... The oh, he actually died. There's fire there. Now, wait a minute. Put you online and try to kill them actually. So I probably can't do. I will give uh, one go there. Although they probably healed the full. I want to heal to full when they were in med bay. One of them died. 
If there's fire there, this that guy might go down. I might as well try to maximize maximize loot now. I might if I don't kill him with this. Okay, there it goes. Nice bike beam. Ooh. Alright. Oh wow. Seven health. And there's a store. Okay, so I don't don't see the whole sector with the long rate scanners right away. Wow. Talk about well-timed store. Worth a look? Well, hell yeah. Oh, sensors. Ooh. Well, I, ob I obviously need to repair as much as I can, not do anything else. The bike beam is nice. Gives me a... Uh, gives me some um, extra options there. Especially when I get some more more weapon power. Mm, I'm going with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to get close. But, uh, let's go there. Towards that quest, anyhow. You come to a quiet part of Chalton space and encounter an ancient Chalton, wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of our day's work. Choose your doom? Oh hell. You won't, you won't put that race into my ship. Wait a minute, will you give me one of these as crew member? I will choose Rockman. Oh, a hardened foe for a bad hardened veteran. You detect a wormhole opening up and a rock ship appears with, a, with guns blazing. It appears they were in combat when they were thrust across space time. Well. That's better than uh, them coming on board, which I was worried first would happen. Mm -hmm. Let's we try with dual lasers and bike beam. Wait for them, wait a minute, that bike beam is a slow loader. Okay, let's just fire it. There because they have laser and beam, not too worried about that. I will fight beam as soon as that happens. How long is the beam? Very long. Can I shoot can I do some trickster here? Do I get this room into it? Can I do even more? Pretty close. Let's test that one. Yes, all of them. Perfect. <laughs> that was pretty insane, bike beam. Perfectly, perfectly shaped ship for a bike beam. Too bad for them. When he sees you have emerged victorious, the Chaldean voice man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Chaldean implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and a salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. Alright. That's cool. Let's uh, upgrade the ship. I guess uh, more weapon power is in place now. I will wait until I have... Just in case I run into a store or something something else. Because I might as well upgrade this whole uh, weapon and reactor at the same time, so that's 60. So I might as well save that before I do anything. I might, might get some uh, 
random events where I managed to uh, buy something. You have to admit, Jolten Base's space is a beautiful and peaceful place indeed. However, re-engaging the FTL and finishing your mission is your priority, not sightseeing. Well, there's always a little time for sightseeing. But let's do this quest. You arrive at the last known location of the merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. You find the remains of the ship. It seems to have severe external, external damage, but you cannot pinpoint the cause. The majority of its cargo seems intact. You manage to discern the ship's intended destination. Take the cargo and head to its original destination in search of a reward. Mm, there's probably a fight there, but I will do it anyway, so option one. So a new quest marker in the next sector. Alright. 58, almost. And I will have time to visit this place and then go to exit. Excellent. You arrive at the Choltan Research Facility. They say they are researching a genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Well, sure. I think this is related to uh, one of those, maybe the stasis board, if I recall. Unfortunately got it here. It would be better to have this at the end of the universe map and get the stasis board on the way. Your crew calmly lines up for the Sultans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes from the stiff dough as well as some scrap. Thank you for the cakes. Nice. Alright, let's upgrade weapons and power. And uh, we'll have some more options for us, like uh, getting the breach missile at the same time, or breach bomb at the same time online. Good. And exit we go. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Nothing here? Oh, there is. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Investigate. Ooh, slug option. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six legged horse like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Uh, I've had this event before, but I don't remember if I'd had a slug crew member before, but I will uh, attempt to communicate telepathically. After a moment, your crew tells you that these are simple beings who enjoy a peaceful life. However, this isn't the first time a ship has landed here. They inform you of a nearby crash site. Wait, what? You follow their directions and discover an ancient engine ship. You find a deactivated engine inside and reroute power from your shuttle to resuscitate it. After a while it reboots, rebuilds itself and offers to join your crew. Alright. Shirai. Jones Jones gets a friend. Let's get to the engines. And That's the end of Sector 2, so join me on the next video when the game 5 continues onwards to Sector 5. No, Sector 5, Sector 3. Game 5, Sector 3, next time.